Hi guys, welcome to my channel where we talk about everything from tech to films and all the fun stuff in between. Today I have an interesting video for you. It's the unboxing of iPhone 11 Pro Max and 5 things you can do immediately after unboxing. So yes, a month late but I finally decided to upgrade to the latest iPhone this year and I went all maxed out. I went for the iPhone 11 Pro Max in space grey color and yes I did post a video saying my two year old iPhone 10 holds perfectly. I'll link it in the description below so you can check it out but I still went for the new iPhone. Reason being my wife's iPhone 6 is starting to show its age even though Apple still releases security updates to that phone. And she wanted a phone with a better camera so she's getting my iphone 10 and i'm upgrading to the iphone 11 pro i also promised to take her shopping so she's getting a good deal and i'm getting the new iphone as you can see i went for the max i really wanted to try a plus sized iphone right since the iphone 6 plus but for my small-ish hands, usability was definitely an issue. And with the iPhone 10, I got that bigger screen in nearly a similar, smaller form factor. But yes, Apple goes and launches that plus size for that all new screen design with its iPhone XS Max. This plus size is stepping into Android territory at 6.5 inch screen size. And I really wanted to try it. I will post my thoughts on using it after a week so please be subscribed and turn that notification bell on so you can be notified when that video is online and then the space gray color if you check my initial thoughts on the iphone 11 pro's triple camera design at the rear i'm one of those few people who feel little tripophobic with that three symmetrical camera circles thank god it's just not me there are other people who have the similar feelings and then that's why the black one which conceals it really the white one is the worst among all followed by gold and then green actually the green is a bit okay but that green stainless steel bezel looked unnatural in real life for some reason but hey that's just my thoughts everyone has got their own preference so if you like that green color then please go for it um, these are just my thoughts and I don't intend to reflect this in any way onto others so here I have the box all black in color you can barely see the iPhone text on the side I went for the 64 gigabytes not that I do not need more storage but the iPhone is expensive as it is and adding more memory pushes the phone's price even higher so it's better to pay for iCloud storage instead you get like an additional 50 gigabytes of storage at 79 pence per month or 200 at £2.49. Good thing is that this also acts as a backup and with that 2014's infamous seller picks leak, Apple made it super secure. So it's a good option to consider. Here next to it, I've got the original iPhone launched 2007 and its box just for comparison. I was telling the sales guy at the phone shop that it was 12 years earlier. I was in that same store telling the lady behind the counter that I have decided to get the new iPhone. It's really nostalgic. And it reminds me that I'm going to make a super fun video about all my Apple gadgets till date. So another reason for you to be subscribed and to turn on that notification bell. And while you're at it, please drop a like to support me as this really will help a lot for a new YouTuber like me. So without much further ado, let's get on with the unboxing. Apple always makes it simple so you do not need a knife or a cutter to unbox. All of it just peels off.
and here you are the iPhone 11 Pro Max in all its glory that striking camera cluster staring right back at you Wow the back feels really good and the build quality is second to none I like this matte finish which the phone has got and if you can see the camera cluster has got a glossy effect let's put that to a side and get on with the rest so you've got paperwork sim ejector tool and apple stickers and like everyone complains even i will do the same they are not color coded with the iphone so imagine how cool that would have been to have matte black apple stickers instead of the standard white ones Now the next things get a bit interesting here as we have got something new in the box. Let's move the headphones out of the way. You get the standard wired lightning ear pods and no lightning adapter this time. My iPhone 10 included that, but you won't get this and Apple will be happy to sell you one for nine pounds. And finally to the newest addition, this time we get the 18 watts fast charger included in the box. All phones since the iPhone 10 are capable of fast charging, but Apple never included one in the box. So you had to pay about 70 pounds to buy the adapter and the charging cable. So I really never used fast charging, but this time this is included and you also get the USB-C to lightning cable here. It's not the standard lightning to USB cable which you usually get with older models. So this is the new lightning to USB-C cable. And if you rip it, your old cables will not work and Apple will gladly sell you a new one for 19 pounds. Now check this cool adapter design. This is the UK plug. And for all viewers from rest of the world, our UK plugs are the bulkiest. They have these three strong prongs sticking out and the top one is wide and big than the others but this cool flip out design means that you can carry it easily i saw this first included with the original apple watch back in 2015 and was super impressed by the design i'm glad that apple adopted this design in the fast in their new fast chargers as well it's just these simple things which make life so much better and Apple, you have to commend Apple for putting thought into them. So there you are, the iPhone 11 Pro Max completely unboxed. I have a few accessories here as well. So first up is the official Apple silicon case. You can see my thoughts on the official Apple cases in my previous video. The link again is in the description below. I always used official Apple cases since Apple started making them. I like how light they are and how amazing they feel in the hand. The leather ones are even better, but they turn really, really worn out very soon. So I went with the black silicon option here. You also have a slew of other colors which you can choose from. But yeah, for this year's theme, it's all black for me. The case is really very light and gives you that decent protection at the back and the front. The camera cutouts are perfectly aligned and so is the Apple logo. It's slightly raised on the front. So when you place the phone on its face, it doesn't lie flat on the screen. I know that you can get better cases for lesser money, which will offer even better levels of protection. Um, but for me, I always like the Apple cases and I bumped my iPhone 10 a few times here and there over the edges and the case perfectly did its job of protecting the sides of my phone. 
Next up is a third party accessory. I here have the Belkin 5 watt wireless charging mat and a Jetek tempered glass screen protector. I've used both Belkin and Jetek brands before and they offer decent quality for the money. I'll leave a link for both of them in the description below so you can check it out. Let's unbox the wireless charger first. So you can see it's quite light and it comes with a micro USB to normal USB. And it doesn't come with the power adapter and it says that you'd require a 10 watt adapter to make it work. So you probably should have, you should use the Apple's included adapter to make this going. It's quite light and probably just fits well on a bedside table. Next up is the tempered glass protector. Let me try to get the wrapper out of the way. Seems like everyone is not Apple, so you need a cutter to open this. And here's my unboxing knife. It's an original Swiss knife, which I bought like 12 years ago, and it is still sharp as hell. Okay, that's done. Now let me just close it. It always makes me nervous whilst watching other YouTubers leave their knives open whilst unboxing. Wow, that's nice colors. They reminds me of the Indian flag. You've got the orange, green, and white. And that's the tempered glass protectors. You get two. I'll, again, I'll link these in the description so you can get it off from Amazon. Next up is that five things you can do as soon as you've unboxed. Now this is a new phone, it packs quite a few new features, so it'll be good to just check them straight away. Um, so number one, is you just get to feel that amazing build quality. I've done this time and time over and Apple never disappoints. And if you got the plus size for the first time, then you get to feel how big this device actually is and wonder whether you've made the right decision of getting that phone, which cannot be used with one hand. Number two, check that unmistakably bold camera cluster and test out how the pictures turn out. Here's a pic which I shot using all the three lenses from that same location. And you can see how the pictures turn out. Thanks to the little girl who stayed still for me for modeling for this picture. And then check that low light feature. This is really insane. If you look at the video, you can see that I shot this iPhone 10 box in complete darkness. And this is how the picture shows up. The screen is dark, but this is on purpose. Let me point light on that box so you can actually see the exact condition on which I've shot this picture. Wow, this low light mode is really amazing. Next up, number three, is that spatial audio. Test that out and see how loud and excellent the new speaker system is. It's really the best one I've heard on a phone for a long time. Number four, check that amazing video quality. This is the video which I'm shooting directly on the new iPhone 11 Pro Max. So here 
have got a pop-up book of Game of Thrones and that's the wall so you can see actually I'm moving around just to pan around and you can see how the stability is of the new camera you can also I'm directly I'm talking directly into the phone so there's no microphone or anything attached you can check the audio quality as well number five check those wide angle selfies so the front facing camera now has got two modes so you can zoom in or zoom out and check how the phone automatically changes to wide angle when you rotate it into landscape mode you can pinch it back or you can use this control to set it back and on portrait you actually have that control again so you can zoom out or zoom in and finally bonus feature check out that blazing fast a13 chip on board by running some of some graphic intensive games and apps So that's it for now guys. I have several interesting iPhone 11 Pro Max videos to come in the next few days, like a review after a week's usage, switching to the plus size for the first time, things I like and hate about this phone and more. So please be subscribed and hit that notifications bell on so you will know as soon as these videos become live. And as always, thanks a lot for staying until the end. See you in my next video. Bye for now.